uncomfortable moment in everybody that you tell about it. Because, you know, you, you start off by saying, well, well, my son, he has Batten disease. And immediately they say, <clears throat> well, what is Batten disease? And when you tell them, there's, you know, the, there's no good reaction to that. And, then, you know, they don't know what to do. But that's a good thing. when you have the opportunity to uh, meet these families, meet the children, uh, and see them over time and get to know them as people and as family units and see the struggles and see the successes and the trials and to also unfortunately see the progression of this disease, it it's kind of sears into you um, images of um, strength and struggle. My name is Michael Shane Crawford. I'm from uh, London, Ohio, and my daughter Mariah has Batten disease. At first, we were everything was really um, overwhelming. You know, you went from a child who was perfectly normal to a child who has, you know, lost so much. It was scary. And you always ask yourself, why her? You know, I know we're not supposed to, but you do. Talk about it a little bit. Isaiah um, developed normal um, until like three and a half. He um, had epi developed epilepsy, he had seizures, normal child um, with a small speech problem. Um, we entered him into a special needs school and one year he knew his shapes and colors and could count and the next year he really couldn't remember. And he had some slight regression and they couldn't figure it out and couldn't get the seizures under control. So um, they did some extensive blood testing and it came back that Isaiah had Batten disease. And in the year and a half time span that we've known, um, Isaiah has lost his ability to speak, to eat anything by mouth, and to walk or crawl. Well, we had struggled to get a diagnosis for many years, and she was misdiagnosed with lots of other things. And, and we knew something was seriously wrong, but when we got the diagnosis of Batten disease, I, I felt like I just had an anvil on my chest. I mean, you read that your child is going to slowly waste away, and, and uh, there's no cure, and it's just, it's a heavy burden. Um, yeah, it's awful. I, I guess. I've referred to it oftentimes as a parent's worst nightmare. Jenny and I drove down to Duke University in February uh, of last year, and we were at Duke for two, two weeks, and they did all these tests. A couple weeks later, it was St. Patrick's Day, and we were at their house, and the doctor called, and he said that uh, he was thinking all day how he could tell his family what they had. So that's when Noah was formally uh, diagnosed with late infantile Batten disease. What was that like? What did it feel like? Well, initially, uh, it's hard to believe when you get a diagnosis like that, and it's just uh, almost incomprehensible, and it takes a while for it to sink in. And I think, um, you know, right away you start feeling lost, you feel inadequate, and then you get angry, and you want to do whatever is necessary to, to, uh, to save your child, because you don't want the end result. For these parents to have to go through that, that wears on the body, mind and spirit. This river is my hometown. It's the place where I settled down It's all I've ever known From the hollow to the At this point, Cody's just blind. Um, he does no other complications or anything like that. Um, so not, not much except for the blindness. He still attends regular school. Yeah, he was student of the year this year for the whole state of Maryland. She just, she just wants to be a little girl, and I, I think about how every day I see Batten disease try to steal a little bit of that away from her, 
And so just my love for her and my, and my great desire to see her be able to achieve all of her dreams has really driven me. And then throughout this journey of the last four years, I've met other children and other families who, whose story is very similar to hers um, in that these kids are... These kids are just fighters. Um, you know, they, they have so much going for them in the way of their spirit and um, the way of their courage. Uh, but at the same time, they have this, this terrible tragedy that afflicts them, which is this, this disease, baton disease, that they were born with. Um, and, and so what, what got me on this road and on this journey was my sister's story. But what keeps me going every day is the stories of all of these children collectively. changed when I actually met a family, my first Batten's family, which was the Aurelios from San Jose. And uh, basically they came to visit the lab and we sat down. I expected to have a short, polite chat, but uh, no, two or three hours later we were still talking away and uh, something inside me went, and that's what I decided I needed to do. And I've been doing it ever since. Hello today. It's been eternity since I saw you last night And may I say You have a way of staying on my mind By the way If it's possible for you and you If I had the key and if it's all the same and noon's okay to break, I'll call and take you out.